stood amidst the crowd with his visage wan and old. With a trumpet voice and loud, he thus his story told. Ye miners all, ye weak and strong, who to these rivers swiftly throng, cast down your tools and fly amain to those at home who cry in vain. Give up the search, turn back, I say, and ye will bless that happy day. Three mortal years I've roamed, yet look, can't ye read me like a book? I'm strapped without a cent. Let's pause, my grief has found its vent. On the hills, by the plains they lie, prostrate and ill. They seek to die. Little they wreck or care for life, to combat in a useless strife. Hope deferred, indeed, my friends, my wife to me a letter sends. She, trustful, hoped for happier days, but who on earth can read God's ways? No more to me, two girls as fair, as the angels are with golden hair. They me blessed, a soothing balm, that o'er my bosom shed a calm. I dreamed a spirit stood nigh me, a glorious light around its brow. Softly a voice said, Come to me, where the living waters flow. Thus spoke that careworn man with voice so loud and clear. The evening breeze his cheeks did fan. The miners all did shake with fear. Strangely sat fear upon their hearts. Conscious loud smote in their breasts. Guilt on their faces as each one starts at that old man's behests. They pressed around, besought his stay. In vain, his thoughts were far away. My steps lie on the mountain top. I cannot rest. I cannot stop. They watched him up the steep ascent and wondered whither he went. News came. Beneath a stunted tree, a dead man lay. The soul was free.